Hello guys, it is Reviews and More, back with a quick kitchen review. This is on a fun little gadget. Again, I'm pulling these from Lidl, that cool grocery store with all the weird stuff in the center aisles that's super duper fun to go to and buy lots of cheap stuff and some cool little gadgets like this cotton candy maker. Uh, before we get into the review in depth, if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button and the subscribe button. And also, if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment. doesn't matter what the comment is. Uh, if you have questions, please post them, that kind of stuff, because that also helps with the algorithm and gets this video viewed a little bit more. And that obviously will help out the channel getting more traction. So here we go. This is a cotton candy maker. It is from Lidl. It L-I-D-L. I'm sorry, L-I-D-I-L, because I'm bad at spelling. And you saw something fall on the floor there. You'll see that in just a moment. This is $30 for a little ice cream maker. It is mostly plastic, but it is 500 watts of power, so it gets a little bit of heat to it. Um, the main thing about this is, I'll go ahead and tell you right now as you see my dirty, gross hair, the main thing I want to point out is this does work. You're going to see me demonstrate it in just a little bit, but this is just going item by item through it. You obviously have the base there. The base has little suction cuppy feet to hold it in place. There's the white bowl that actually contains, or what they call, uh, contains the actual cotton candy as it's being produced by the mach machine itself. You see the heating element by that little, uh, the little aluminum stainless steel kind of look right there. You pop it on like that. I'll show you just in a minute in detail how to get it all put together. It comes with a, a measuring spoon, kebabs, base construction sheets, and recipes. The recipes are basically just for making colored cotton candy, which is taking granulated sugar and adding food coloring. Nothing too special about it. But there you go. There is the actual heating element. There's the actual spinner. So the spinner basically takes the sugar. It melts the sugar. And then as it spins, the trivial force shoots the sugar out in little strings that we know as cotton candy. Then you will take the bowl itself. You'll pop that on there. And you'll see me kind of show you how that works in just a second. But there are little divots on the actual bowl as well as the little the aluminum metal housing that basically make it so it'll pop in place and hold in place because this thing does tend to vibrate a little bit. So there you see the tab right there and you see the where the tab kind of bumps in and I did have one instance where this thing started to vibrate to the point that the bowl came loose but I just I just shifted it back into place and it was fine it wasn't a big deal then you get the guard right there which works pretty well and finally the little uh, ceiling grommet that kind of goes over top that black thing to my right that slides over top and get, gets kind of snaps into place to hold the whole thing together Everything in here, as far as I know, with the exception of possibly the metal disc, is um, dishwasher safe. However, I would highly advise not putting this into in the dishwasher because if it gets warped in any way, it essentially will become more or less useless because it won't be even anymore. You'll have uneven results, which will, which will basically cause it to kind of bundle up and make a big cotton candy mess instead of it being really functional. And here you see me snapping on the last little bit there. And once that's on, it's basically good to go. You just got to plug it in and turn it on, and then you're good to go from there. Uh, real fast, I will, before this begins, because there will be a sound test, just so you know how loud it can be. You see it spin in there. Um, before you start making your cotton candy, you want to turn it on for five minutes to let it heat up. So in just a moment, you'll hear the thing turn on, and it'll make a little bit of noise just so you get an idea how loud it actually is. Alright, so there you go. That's the amount of noise it makes. And this is the second time I've used it, so I, I did some experimental ones first. Always, 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 before you actually start it up, turn the whole thing off while it's hot. Then you pour your sugar in. From there, you then can turn it back on. If it, you've overloaded it a little bit, just turn it on and off briefly so the, so the spinning will happen and kind of let the uh, sugar fall into place. It will happen suddenly. You'll get you'll start getting some of that uh, cotton candy pop up fast, so you got to be ready with that stick to go. Otherwise, it can't get clogged up and just make a mess. It won't damage the machine as best I can tell, but it can make your product at the end look kind of crappy, so just be careful and don't let it fool you. It's not a slow process. It starts off slow, and all of a sudden, you get a whole bunch of cotton candy all at once because that sugar just suddenly starts to melt very quickly once it gets to that certain magical heat temperature. 
So once that happens, it'll be pretty fast when you go here. And obviously I'm also speeding the camera up a little bit, or speeding the footage up rather. And you're going to take it over top of the base. And once you get that first little bit onto your kebab or your stick or whatever, and you're going to go slowly turning it with your fingers as well as going around the basin above the actual um, bowl itself. So don't stick the cotton candy stick in there after you first get your first layer of cotton candy on there because that'll result in it probably touching that metal plate spinny thing and the result will be it just shoots to the side and gets stuck on the edges. And if you can see there, I'm just using basic table sugar. It's not flavored or colored or anything. You can see it, the yellow edges there. That's sugar that kind of fell off early before it really melted. And you see there, it kind of got messed up a little bit, made a little bit of a, a bundle, but you know, it's okay. It's, it, it's, it's all cotton candy. So it's it's still delicious but here you go you start spinning it and then notice how much faster it's going and then from here you will have a nice little bundle of cotton candy for that little scoop of sugar and you can obviously make it bigger and bigger um, and you're gonna see me in my footage actually I'm gonna do a total of three times I'm gonna do the first initial time you're seeing here and then two more times you will not you will see diminishing returns in size obviously because exponential growth is slower so um, just keep that in mind it, um, the end result is pretty positive in my opinion considering it's a little $30 gadget from Lidl. It's not a high-end cotton candy maker or anything so I'm very happy with it. Now I will point this out. This is more from my trial and error. If you are going to try to double up your cotton candy like make one after the other or make one large one by doing the spoonful of sugar multiple times I would advise giving it a minute in between to reheat to the proper temperature because that sugar does dissipate some of the heat a little bit. So just make sure you take a little bit of break. I didn't hear and so the first set of uh, cotton candy that came off was really really stringy instead of being fluffy so just be aware of that the second time I gave it a second to heat up which allowed it to actually get to the proper temperature much faster which meant the sugar burnt, uh, melted quicker and I had a better result so just keep that in mind as you're doing it so the second time I didn't give enough time in between the third time I did and then the end result is a, a cotton candy bundle that's fairly large it's not obviously it's not what you're going to see like the state fair or anything but for doing a cool activity with your kids it's, it's a lot of fun um, it's also something i would recommend possibly doing outside because it can make a bit of a mess especially if you're like me and i put sugar in as it was spinning one time didn't film that thank you very much but um overall really happy with the product 30 bucks will, will give you a lot of fun my son loved it to death because guess what he loves cotton candy and now he can make it at the house so you kind of knows that now as far as cleanup goes it's not super difficult sorry i've got to hit myself here you go you get to see the actual end result right here this is about how big it is after three little scoops of sugar obviously it's got a little bit of size to it there so that's what you get and you see it's obviously it's not perfect but it's okay it's just for fun and i'm assuming i'll get better at the more i do it but cotton candy is delicious because it's you know just sugar and here we see it just comparing it to a coat to a i think it's a pib extra can so a soda can just to give you an idea of what it'll get you and there you go so as far as the cleaning goes it's pretty simple the uh, easiest obviously is the bowl itself because it's just sugar just keep that in mind it's sugar it, anything that flings off of it is too uh cold they really get burned so you don't go worry about burn so as long as you got hot water maybe hot soapy water you can get it cleaned off the actual metal portions wipe off with a damp cloth and the uh, metal spinner make sure you soak that if you want to but don't do it immediately after use because you don't want that to warp it's made of metal and if it suddenly gets cooled under at least underneath cold water you might end up warping it which will basically make it effectively useless so just be aware of that other than that guys thanks for watching have a great day and please hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment saying that i did a terrible job a great job whatever helps out the channel and have a good day